Hi, how you doing? It's Lex MPI. I'm back. And today we're going to talk BETH. In my previous video regarding staking ETH on the ETH 2.0 network on Binance, there seemed to be quite a bit of confusion regarding BETH and how it worked in regards to staking your ETH and getting BETH in return. So in this video, I want to go step by step with maybe a couple of examples, just talking through exactly how BETH works. Hopefully this answers quite a few questions people have had regarding BETH and how that process all works on Binance. So let's start at the beginning. So BETH. BETH is essentially the mirror image of ETH. So to quickly explain why Binance have created BETH and how it works, we quickly need to understand exactly what is happening when we're staking. When we're staking, we're locking up our Ethereum and we're getting a return paid to us in Ethereum. So if we lock 100 Ethereum at a 10% return, we end up with 110 Ethereum. And that's the whole point of staking. You're making a return on your initial investment. The reason BETH comes around is because on the ETH 2.0 contract, your Ethereum deposit is locked until the end of phase one. Meaning if you deposit any Ethereum and you're making your daily returns on it, you can't unstake your Ethereum for up to two years. So Binance have come up with a solution to allow you to get out of that position if you want to. So what they have done is they essentially created a mirror image of what would happen on the original Ethereum node or validator when they're staking. So what will normally happen is that you deposit your Ethereum, it's locked in, and you will make a return in Ethereum. So what Binance do is when you deposit your Ethereum, they'll give you BETH. And when you make a return on your Ethereum, they'll pay you that return in BETH. And then at the end of the lockup period, you can then swap that BETH for Ethereum one to one. So if you deposit 100, you're making 10% for the year. After the end of the year, you have 110 BETH. You would then swap that 110 BETH for 110 Ethereum and go along on your merry way. Now, what you can also do is if, for example, it's midway through the lockup period, you, for whatever reason, really need to get out of your Ethereum position. If you are staking it yourself, on the Ethereum network yourself, there is no way to get your Ethereum out of it, out of the, out of the lockup. But with BETH, because Binance are giving you BETH, and you can exchange BETH for other tokens, say USDT for example, you are able to sell your BETH and get USDT. But that is the equivalent of selling your ETH, so you will no longer make a return on that Ethereum once you sell the equivalent BETH. So for example, you deposited 100 ETH. You were given 100 BETH in return. You're making a 10% APY equivalent each day on your 100 BETH. You sell off half your BETH, so you now only have 50 BETH. That is the equivalent of only having 50 Ethereum. So now you're only making a return on 50 Ethereum, not 100, because you sold the 50 BETH. To think of it as a mirror image, anything you do to your BETH is exactly what's happening to the Ethereum. So if, you're, if you sell some of your BETH, you've sold some of your Ethereum. This is a good thing because it gives you flexibility, because if you actually were staking yourself on an actual validator that you made to yourself, you would not be able to get out of your position. You'd be stuck with Ethereum and locked into the Ethereum 2.0 contract for the whole of phase one. But with BETH, because they've given you a coin that is tradable in the meantime, you're able to get out of your Ethereum position by selling your BETH. What that does mean is that if you do sell some of your BETH, that means you have less to then swap back into Ethereum at the end of the staking period, at the end of the lockup period. Sorry, I corrected myself there. I hope that makes sense and everyone's followed that. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help the channel out. See you in the next video. Bye.